Hello, now finally it is working. I was trying to put on, uh, I was trying to put on uh, an intro per se. Oh, money. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I have two controllers. This is my notched one that has good backlashes. This is my completely fresh one. It has shield drop notches actually, but it does not have good backlash or any other notches. So I wanna see. I want to test around. Let's go. Let's try out the new hacks. All right. So I don't know how to use this yet. I mean, so I guess you never miss a back dash. That's cool. That's cool. And you're supposed to have easier time hitting the notches. Um, there's the website up on this. Well, dash back out of crouch is easier. Yeah, it is. Not much easier, I wouldn't say though. I don't know, blah blah. blah. We don't have time for this. You look perfect, Cardinal. Yeah, so you can dash faster. You dash faster now. Paulus, perfect angle. Okay, so this is how it works. It just makes these ranges, uh, the blue ones here, make them slightly more, slightly bigger. But this one already has notches, so it's hard to compare. I, I think this mod is completely stupid and really, really, really stupid. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, neutral start. All right. That's it. Seems like. I mean, if it's done in a regulated and fair way, I don't personally mind uh, memory card hacks, but I think it should only be for like dash back, analog to digital transition. Like it should be m way more minimal than this one is. Because this one has uh, the perfect angles, which I don't like. Dash backing out of crash is still not easy though. I'm not sure. I haven't read the description though, so it might not, you know, improve the right, not improve the method I do. Apparently, it loads faster too. Maybe that's not true. It feels like it does load faster. All right, let's compare shit. Actually, let's start with wave dash. So this is a pretty generous window. It's not the perfect one. If I put the perfect way dash on, um, my controller never gets it, the notch one. Even then, it's pretty hard for me to get it consistently. Even though I widen it by three on both. All right, uh, I'll try with the other controller now. It might honestly still be hard. Yeah. I honestly don't think this removes the need for notches in that way. You definitely cannot get them on command, like, easily. It feels super weird, though. I, I feel like I'm... Look at where I'm holding the stick now. This is sideways, right? And then I turn it down just a tiny bit. Like this. And it becomes a wave dash. If it, it's like a completely different technique that you use um, when you try to wave dash normally. So people who play on these... I'm gonna have an extremely hard time switching over because it, it's not even the same technique like usually when you weigh this you go like you go like that where you start you go down and then you go like slightly up this is more like you go straight and then you just tap it down and every time you get this by the way it's the perfect angle so I'll, I'll, I'll remove the other one As you see, despite it being one angle, which is pretty much impossible to get consistently without hacks. Like, not hacks money, but without without um, hacking the game, you can't get a consistent, like a pinpoint specific angle consistently at all. Because the game is like, inherent, has a little bit of randomness or something. Like, essentially, it, it's a little bit random. It can't. You can't consistently get super specific angles unless you use a digital input or hack or hacks to make your controller send off a digital input essentially. Even then though, I mean it's not easy. I, I think I guess I'm missing the timing sometimes. I should probably just have done it for the angle. Yeah, let me let me just do the, do it for the angle. I I don't know how to wait as well with Luigi, so alright, so we'll be red if I just do the right timing. Even when you have this because there's no like physical indication on where, on where you should have the controller, it is still very hard to get the perfect angle. 
I guess you can get a pretty far one a lot of the time. But honestly, it's it will still not remove the notch problem for sure. And it will even with this, you know, boxed controllers will still be far superior when it comes to consistency. So I don't think this really levels out the playing field as much as Hacks wants it to. And just for comparison, if I go with my notch controller, you see how I, I, I get it like maybe two out of five, one out of five. Like with the notch controller, with no hacks enabled, um, I will pretty much never get it. By using the notch, I never go into that specific angle. Like I'm just holding my controller in the notch now. As you can see, it's not nearly as uh, good of a wave dash, and it doesn't like reach the value ever. So I, if, if you thought that like, you know, like Fox got buffed by using notches, he definitely gets. He, more buffed by doing uh, by enabling this. So now I use the now I use the mod and the notches, and let's see how this works. Even then, you don't really. It doesn't work. I mean, it can work sometimes, but not when I'm actually using the notch. I think the problem I have with it is that essentially. So if you see this, right. The blue, the blue areas are the ones that, with the mod enabled, the blue areas, this here, is the thing that you want to uh, hit every single time you wave dash, almost. Like every single time you want to go far with your wave dash, every single time that you want to smash the eye, uh, hit, you know, like hit a specific angle with the B, you want to hit the blue part. And the same goes for down, and apparently they did the down one smaller. Or up throw and back throw or something. But yeah, as you see, um, when you use the notch, it makes it essentially sticks your controller here. Wait, can you see the mouse? Yeah, so what the notches do is instead of, you know, creating a notch here so that you always hit this angle, because all the orange parts are just left, up, down, right, normally. So what the notches do is that they create a hack here or like a thing that makes it not go past into the orange zone but because it's so hard to actually make it so that you know like it always sticks right here what happens is that they make it so that you know maybe you get stuck around here or there you know something like that but if you get if you create something here right then that means that yeah although you will never go completely straight because you're stuck here you will never really access these angles the actual optimal angles are taken away in favor of consistency, essentially. Uh, this is a little ac exaggerated and depends on how good the notch is, but generally, even though I got really good notches, this is how it is. The thing is, even though using a notch controller feels weird at, in the beginning, it, it is kind of intuitive to use because you can use it in the way that you just try to hit, you know, this these couple angles normally, and it will get inserted into the notch and just work, you know? And then if you need like a really specific tight angle, then you can slide it all the way up, get, feel it, the control stick getting stuck on the notch, and then like, you know, do the up beat. The problem is that like, I don't like notches in the beginning, but at least when you use notches, you can use the same method. You still try to hit this area. So if I went back to a normal game control and I've used normal game control since I'm using a notch, the technique I use is still exactly the same. I just don't get saved by the notch if I if I happen to slide with enough force that it will it would have reached the orange part. The problem with this one is that every single person that wave dashes with the hacks mod is going to try to hit these angles. They won't be trying to hit the angles that normally work. They'll be trying to hit an angle that every single time they try to do that, unless they fail and happen to slide over to this part, you know, it won't work on a normal setup. And that just creates a problem, right? Where like, I cannot play on an unmodded setup, period. Like, it's not a matter of like, oh, backdash is just like, I can't wave dash. I can't up B on my, <laughs> on a non-modded controller. I think the best thing about the memory card thing over an Arduino is that you don't soldier something into your controller. If Nintendo, if Red Bull, if Twitch, if Monster, if any company comes and say like, yo bro, install a mini computer, we don't like hacks, Nintendo is watching us, can you please stop modding? Then I can be like, yo dude, totally man, you don't 
use the memory card hack. You just don't bring it to the tournament. Or like, you know, they just use a different memory card. But when you have a fucking soldered Arduino in, then you can't enter at all. Like, most people don't have more than one controller. Certainly not more than one good one. Like, not good as in good backdashes, but good in the way that, like, they're accustomed to it and they can execute. And when you add these type types of things that force people to use angles that are useless on a normal controller, it creates an insane separation within the scene where people can't use, they can't play on a non-modern setup. And I feel like, yeah, you know, like sometimes you will miss a backdash, even though that's heavily overstated. And sometimes, you know, you might miss a backdash out of crouch. It's not the same as relying on a completely different input and changing your entire style around a new way to play melee. That's just ridiculous. The shield drop thing is like, that's also fine because most controllers come with at least one shield drop notch. As long as it's not a down tilt shield drop, I think it's fine, honestly. The perfect cardinals are a different thing as well. It's kind of weird and most people won't use, uh, notice it, but I don't think 1.0, I don't think 1.0 should be um, allowed. It doesn't change super heavily. You maybe won't notice it too much, but it does actually change a lot of things. It impacts DI, dash speed, you know, like all these things. And although you might not notice it, sometimes that that doesn't make it better. That makes it worse because when when you dash with 1.0 dash speed, you often run off the platform one frame earlier or something, like a whole frame earlier. So it creates a different muscle memory. And that's the type of thing that you can't like really practice. Like I'm going to jump off the stage in one frame or not two, but like someone's perception of how fast Falcon can run up, run up dash grab me. If they're on the very edge, then the 1.0 dash speed, if Fox or Falco dash faster, then like it might actually throw them off their game. I'll do some test this now, testing. But I, I really don't agree, agree with 1.0 dashing. Apparently some some controllers can have 1.0 dashing, um, but it's never consistent. It's never really consistent. Like there's no controller that can hold 1.0 dash more than like one in three or something. Like it's incredibly rare. I think my my controller, if I dash, if I hold to the side, on only the right side, can get 1.0 input sometimes. So I'll try to show you. Just watch. The value over here the jx yeah see 1.0 then it quickly goes to another value perfect inputs are simply not like possible to hold consistently even if you have the perfect controller so i would rather like a mod that makes it so that you can never have 1.0 than a mod that makes it so that you can sometimes get 1.0 yeah see i get it here sometimes too oh no wait that's because of the fucking hacks, dude. No, does it, does it matter for the hacks thing? It might not actually. I don't think these inputs change. It just like sends out a different data. That's what I'm thinking. Cause it wasn't designed with, with Trinex X in mind. This just reads the raw inputs. And then I think the mod goes to the next step and uh, sends 1.0 after the fact. Cause it didn't see a significant difference. Like it doesn't even feel like, like when I do this, it feels like I should not go down. Even as someone who has used notches, it's a completely new, new method of angling the FP. Since you're doing what was previously considered straight, instead of like, you know, moving control stick to a notch. Like these angles are way better than the notch one, but they're also just super weird to get. I mean, they're not way better as in the way that like um, you can hit them more consistently but when you do hit them the angles are even more absurd than the the notches well, this is on my Gundam control that has no notches if we were to switch like I'm not sure how how, how apparently you can see it but the notches, like, even the notches don't get you that good of an angle. I'm sure we can find a position where, like, the perfect angle with the notch will not save you, but the perfect one with the hex mod will. Yeah, fixing shield drops and backdash is honestly something I would be okay with. 
I'm not sure if the TOs and the community at large would be okay with it. But keep in mind that like, you need to keep this in mind. I have, I have nothing but good things to gain from Hacks mod being legal. Like, Fox is probably one of the characters get, that gets buffed the absolute most with, with, uh... 1.0 dash and wave dash notches. It's actually so weird to go for a control to control like this because the method to use them are so different. Like, you know, throughout my Fox career, when I do like an angle and let's say, let's say I'm here. I'm like, shit, I have to go, you know, like this angle, right? To get around his back here and to recover. The way I do it by using this controller, which is pointing it upwards at an angle where it normally will go like that. When I do this, right, the angle that, this angle, it feels to me like, fuck, my stock is gone. Because I, I can feel it with my thumb that I have uh, have inputted the wrong angle. But the because of the hack, it gives me the right angle instead, the perfect angle. And it's really weird muscle memory. Because if I go back with this controller and I disable the mod, every single time I will die there. You can see like the see see on the controller this angle that I'm doing here. Like this angle only works if you use um, the 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 hack. Uncle Punch says the perfect angle is intact. Yeah, but no one tries to hit the perfect angle normally that's the point because it's impossible to hit 100 percent consistently and if you you will die um most of the time or you'll get the wrong angle at least if you get unlucky or you get one extra angle whereas with this it makes it so that the optimal thing to do is to press towards angles that will always get you killed in a non-hacked controller if you can't see how that is bad i'm not sure what is was gonna tell you also objectively it's just like it's just weird a weird implementation neutral start is fine in my opinion theoretically it is to have become the standard how can you think that way theoretically the way it's going to start no it's not no one not ever is every single setup going to be the new hack one the the good thing about the memory card thing is that it is so easy to not use that like Fuck, Nintendo doesn't want us to use this. All right, we just don't use the memory card. No, not everyone has to get a new controller because they stole an, an RTQ inside of them. You know, it's like not every setup is going to, we still have 1.0 discs played at major sometimes. There's never going to be a way where every single setup has the new hack. That is never, ever going to happen. And more importantly, even if that is the case, even if we're like, Yo, everyone use 1.0. Create a new muscle memory to do wave dashes. Like, who the fuck are you to say that? It's so stupid that like someone comes back, you know, I, I haven't played Melee for a week and oh shit, everyone else, I have to learn a new way to wave dash. I've wave dashed for 15 years, but now I have to learn a new way to wave dash? Cause th that's the new standard? Like, no, <laughs> no. This is ridiculous, even if it wasn't that way, it would still be stupid, even if it became the new standard. I'm not specifically speaking to you, but the mod itself is just whoever did it, and that kind of argument, it's still stupid. Yeah, and even if you do it, like, that's the thing, okay? It's not just about people who want to hit the perfect angle. You know, they, it's not just about people who want to hit the perfect angle that get this. It's also about, yo, dude, I want to hit the perfect up angle, but I get that one because you know the input I previously used to go straight up is now not the same angle anymore. Like, imagine how many people are going to fuck up their angle because they they don't realize they're playing on a notched one or not notched one, like not modded one. I mean, going straight is the mo is like even more common than going slightly upward. So most people will space for the straight one. Like it will become very common for people to like, they're spaced like this so that the straight one grabs. And then it will be like, oops, sorry, modded control.